Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Thursday AMA on Saturday. <laughs> um, due to a few things that came up, we had to reschedule Thursdays to Saturday, but we're here today. We're going to have a nice, short, and sweet AMA. Um, <clears throat> breeding is live. It's what you guys have all been waiting for for a long time. I've been seeing some really cool um, Shiba Doja NFTs popping up. Now, the armory is going to be the next phase of breeding that pretty much changes the whole dynamic of everything. I've been getting a lot of questions from people about ranks, about the armory, about what's going to be on the armory, all that stuff. Um, just be patient, guys. We'll release all that information very soon. The armory is going to release very, very soon. Um, we're keeping uh, all the details on the wraps right now because we want it sincerely want it to be you know, a, a surprise to you guys because it is pretty cool um but the rank the ranking stuff we will we will give you guys more detail on that more than likely like in the next coming days um obviously with the crates coming out in less than a week on the 23rd we're going to be doing the crates i believe on the 22nd all of the 22nd anybody who's whitelisted will be able to go in and mint their crate one day early so if you're whitelisted, if you have a whitelist spot, you'll be able to do that on the 22nd. Um, also an update as far as the mint numbers, the final official max wallet for the crates is going to be five mints per wallet. So um, that is the final official number. You'll be able to mint five per wallet max. If, you, if you're fast enough, you can do it on multiple wallets. It's up to you. Um, but five per wallet. I, I know we were going back and forth between five and ten, and we kept changing our minds back and forth. But we finally got the sweet spot. We're going with five, and that's going to be final. So, um, yeah, we're super excited about that. Obviously, um, if you guys had been paying attention to the Discord, our Discord has been – really really busy it's it's actually been more active than the telegram um which is very surprising considering telegram has always been our bread and butter but it's great to see that the discord is doing doing well and thriving and growing um i'm personally overwhelmed by all the channels that have been built into the discord i'm not gonna lie but after all of these collaborations and everything is is over with We'll go ahead and clean the Discord up again. We'll make it um, an easier place to navigate through. Uh, also, for anybody who's looking through the Discord and you see those DAO channels, those are just people that we collaborated with. So, I mean, at the end of the day, um, always do your own research. But you can all you can you know go in and read about you know what those guys are and what they do. But yeah, um, another thing that I want to talk about. Next week, our AMA schedules are going to be all over the place. The, we're, next week, we're not going to have like a Monday, Thursday AMA like you guys are used to. Um, instead, what's going to happen is we have all kinds of different types of AMA scheduled with different types of people. So whether they're on Telegram, whether they're on Twitter spaces, whether they're on Discord, I don't know. Exactly, I don't think we have any scheduled on Discord. I'm just saying. Um, we're going to be collaborating with, with some hosts and we'll be having some joint AMAs with people all of next week. So feel free to join in. Um, we'll drop the links to them as they're coming up, but we have one scheduled, uh, I believe on Monday, Tuesday, I believe on Wednesday too. I don't think we have one on Thursday, but if we do, I'll, I'll, I'll drop a little information on that. But regardless, um, it's going to be a busy week for us. Um, Tomorrow is a pretty interesting day. Tomorrow we're going to be back in the Shinja channel. Um, we'll be having another AMA with the Shinja guys at 3.30, uh, not 3.30, 3 p.m. PST, uh, which is pretty much an hour from now. Um, and we're going to be presenting a plan C. So um, we sat down with the team and we were like, hey, you know, what? we presented plan A, we presented plan B, which would have been to like just merge it. But we we didn't really like those options ourselves that, that very much either, right? Like we liked them, but we didn't love them. So P 
Peter and uh, ourselves, we've come up with a pretty interesting proposal, which we'll be presenting and sharing tomorrow. Um, and we'll be discussing it with them and their community. So feel free to join in and, and listen to that again. Um, I think it's going to be a good one. Now, I want to be very clear with you guys. We don't need to acquire Shinja. We want to acquire them because we feel like the brand can fit very nicely in, in the Shiba Doji ecosystem. Um, we feel as if uh, it can double, maybe even triple our our user base overnight, literally just with the snap of the fingers. And that's massive. Whether you guys understand um, the reason behind it or not, uh, immediately you guys will understand it over time. In this space, numbers mean everything whether you're looking at market cap numbers or whether you're looking at community numbers or, or social media numbers, it doesn't matter. Numbers is what dictates this, uh, this space. Obviously a lot of other things dictate it too, but numbers is the only statistical thing that people track when they're doing their DD. Not, not the only, but the first thing they track when they're doing their DD. So that's why we think it'll be a very positive move for us to be able to kind of, um, get that community and get get what they've built and kind of put them back on the right track. Um, obviously, Shiba Doji is always going to be the number one in priority, no matter what. Uh, it just, uh, you guys know, we're building an everlasting ecosystem. We're building something that could thrive through bear markets, bull markets, through ups and downs. We've, we've seen it all here. Um, and I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything like that, but a lot of what I manifest and put out there kind of happens. Uh, let's be real. I mean, a lot of times I'll even come in here and I'll share with you guys those thoughts. And, you know, so be it the day after, the week after, the month after, those things come to fruition. Now, I'm not saying like, hey, whatever I say happens. That's not anything close to what I'm trying to say, but... What I'm trying to say is I, I kind of dissect things way further than they need to be dissected. And in, in doing so, I find out more than I need to find out. <laughs> and when I find, find out what I need to find out, I can conclude what the end result is going to be um, based on the, the steps that it takes to get there. So I like to think of myself as a problem solver. I like to think of myself as somebody who can uh, not predict what's going to happen out of something, but can look at it in a positive outlook and, and see the good that can happen. Obviously, there's bad that can happen in everything, too. But as long as you block that out of your, 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 um, your mental, your, the way that you, you see things, then you're going to always be focused on, on the good. And as long as you're focused on the good and you're focused on the positive side of things, that's what you will work towards and that's what you will manifest. And when something negative does happen, that should never hold you back and that should never stop you in your tracks. It should just motivate you more to, to, to go for the positivity. So I think we're going to find some good out of this. I think we're going to find um, a, a new opportunity we like to create opportunities. Uh, that's no secret either. We've, we've said that before. We like to create opportunities. We don't like to wait for them. And I think um, you guys are going to like the, the proposal that we come out with tomorrow. Uh, whether they like it or not, that's up to them. Um, like I said, we don't need to do any of this. We want to do it. We don't need to. So whether they want it or not, that's completely up to them. Uh, this will pretty much be our final, final thing that we want to share with them. And, um, no more wasting time, right? So if they don't want it, they don't want it. We move on, continue doing what we're doing here. Um, continue push, pushing forward uh, on everything that we're building. We have some big stuff in the works. As you guys can see, Alex was sharing um, some things with Siberia, which you guys have no idea what that is yet. Um, that's going to be another big thing that's coming in the future for us. Uh, obviously, we have the whole EFT collection that's doing pretty well right now. We have the crates that are going to be coming out in a few days. So we have a lot on our plate. Um, and obviously, we still have a lot of things to talk about with season three. And we have a lot of things to talk about with the bird project. So we have a lot on our plate, but we're happy about it. We're glad that there is stuff that's keeping us busy and stuff that's keeping us occupied. 
I believe like a week or two weeks ago, I had an AMA up here and I said, guys, um, the fall of uh, Silicon Valley Bank is going to trigger the next bull run. You know, it could trigger the next bull run. And fast forward 10 days and we're we're seeing uh, Bitcoin hit 28K, which it hadn't hit in like over a year almost. We're seeing, you know, pretty much all the crypto rallies. So I don't know, man. I think I think crypto is in a a pretty strong position right now, and it's looking strong again. It's looking very, very strong, and I I, I believe we've set the tone in a very positive way for what Shiba Doge entails and what what the Shiba Doge project is all about and the Shiba Doge ecosystem is all about. And I think we've created a very, very healthy environment for new people that are going to be getting into crypto in the next bull run. Um, I think we've created a very good place for them to to find themselves in Shiba Doge. And we could see that happening, you know, just in the last like two days, we've gained almost uh, almost 100 new holders just in the last two to three days. So we're, I believe, like 250 holders away from, well, let me double check before I give wrong numbers here. but. Pull this up, bang, bang, 28,727 holders. So we're less than 300 holders away from 29,000. And then we'll hit the 30K mark by the time we know it. And yeah, I mean, think about it, guys. It's taken us a little bit over a year to reach this. The numbers are massive. The growth is consistent. So we're happy. We're happy with the way things are going. And honestly, we have the best community in the entire space. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody else is uh, all caught up in, in the uh, smoke and mirrors and the, the glim and glamour of things. And, you know, they're they're all pushing all this fake stuff that gives their community hope. But at the end of the day, it's all it's all hocus pocus, right? Um, we're different here. We, we, we like to be true to the fact. We like to be real. We like to be honest. We like to we don't like to sugarcoat things, right? Even though I'd like to sugarcoat things every now and then, we don't do it because there's no point. There's no point of bringing people's hopes up for something that's going to be a letdown, for example, right? So we don't do that. We'll always be frank with you guys. We'll hype things up when it needs to be hyped. But when when things are straightforward, we'll always be straightforward too. And I think that's what differentiates Shiba Doge from a lot of the other uh, tokens that are similar to us or, or in the same playing field as us is you guys actually have a team of people who um, are straight shooters and actually care about their community where whereas you know a lot of the I don't want to say competitors because they're not really even competitors but just other tokens in, in the space that, that have similar outlooks than us they, they rely on on the, those smoke and mirrors because they're in it just for one reason and one reason only, and that's that's for their own personal personal gain, right? So, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some good apples out there too. It's just hard to come across, and the the space has been so toxic for for a pretty long time. Where um, you know, veterans in the space are it, it even it's even hard for veterans in the space to, to kind of point those projects out and and realize who's real and who's not. So, you know, the track record that we've set over the past year, year and a half, um, is really going to play in our favor once the next bull market comes around. And with that being said, let's uh, open the floor for some questions. Like I said, um, I wanted to make this a, a pretty short and sweet AMA. Uh, it is Saturday, so I do want to have some family time, but I'm open for questions and Anybody who's got anything they want to share, feel free. Hi, right, Leo. I have a question. I know you were there working on it, so that's first thing I'm going to say. Um, the barracks. There are some uh, Shiba Army NFTs that are not showing. They're showing yep. as uh, rebels at the moment, and I'm not able to. When I want to breed them, I'm not able to select them to breed them. Um, gotcha. Do you know when it's going to be solved? I know one wallet of mine is already solved, so that's why I'm saying they're working on it. Um, yes. But is there going to be a message in Telegram the, for everyone that's going to be solved? 
Uh, yeah. So, so we, we are aware of that issue. Um, and for some people, uh, a quick fix to that is just clearing your cache. Uh, if you clear your cache and clear your cookies and go, go back, it should fix it in most cases. Um, but our development team is working on sending out a hot fix that will, um, pretty much resolve that issue. And once that, that update is sent out, I will, I will inform you guys via a pin message or something of that sort. So just try clearing your cache, um, try clearing your cookies and, um, it should hopefully fix that issue for you uh, until, until an update is rolled out. Okay. Well, we'll try that then. Yep. And let me know if that works for you, okay? If it works for you, send me a DM and let me know. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I can also try it now. <laughs> sure. By the way, guys, um, use the... Uh, I pinned the tool, the checker tool in the chat. I hope it's still there. I don't see it anymore. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's pinned. It's pinned, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. pinned. Okay, cool. So yeah, you guys when... could use that to see if they... Go ahead, Ruth. Mm -hmm. So when people breed, how do they check which level it's on, like which level it is? Because right now they're saying they can't see that. It should just be showing rebel right now. But what we're going to do is before the armory comes out, based mm -hmm. on the parents that, that were used to, to breed, we will be backfilling those ranks. So, so the metadata will be updated. Um, and it will it pretty much will be backfed off of the ranks that were, that were bred. So, so think of it as if like the rank is unrevealed as of right now. So the metadata still needs to be, be updated for the ranks, which is something that will happen oh. before the armory comes out. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Yeah. Guys, you got questions? I don't have a question, Roof. I just want to uh, hear something. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, we hear you. Okay. Uh, Leo, I just want to take a step back and say, wow. Um, wow, I am... I don't swear, but effing blown away by all the work <laughs> that you and the core devs and the other developers have done. I personally have never seen anything like this ever. Um, and what you guys have produced in this space at this time, wow, I am so over the moon about this project over the moon about this leadership uh, that I've seen from you guys. Um, I, I just want to say you guys have outdone yourself. I was able to go into uh, the breeder and one, two, three, the, the GUI interface, simple, simplicity. It doesn't matter your age group, you can figure it out uh, quite simply. So I just want to take a step back and said, wow, um, amazing, amazing, amazing work. And I'm elated. I'm so excited to be a part of this project. So, yeah, a lot to chill about on this one. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. We appreciate that. I mean, I, I, yeah, that's literally why we do all this is because we, you know, those types of words and those types of that type of feedback is what really motivates us to to keep doing things. I mean, regardless of the feedback was there or not, we'd still do it, but it's really like the cherry on the top. We do appreciate um, appreciation. <laughs> that's um, that's a given. And I appreciate that you, you like the interface. We did work hard on making it super easy to use and super user friendly um, because one thing that stood out to me was, you know, projects, they release things and then, you know, you go and try to use it and it, it's like you need to have some type of coding background or some type of tech background to be able to figure it out. And that's what intimidates a lot of the community from not using the utilities and not using the, um, you know, the stuff that people build is because it's just so hard to use. So we spent a lot of time to make sure that 
This is easy, straightforward. And I mean, everything that we do in the future is going to be easy to use, right? Because we take a lot of inspiration, like when we're building something, we always ask ourselves, what would Apple do, right? Because obviously I think Apple is super successful because of how easy their products are to use, right? Anybody could pick up an iPhone and, and navigate through it super easy. I mean, my dad, he still calls me when, um, he, when the TV goes to like a different output and you can't figure out how to get back to the cable. He'll still call me to try to figure that out, but <laughs> he uses an iPhone like it's nothing, right? Like <laughs> he never has any questions about his iPhone. So when we're building something, we always keep that in the back of our heads. It's like, hey, Apple is super successful because they make everything so accessible and easy to use. We should definitely copy that strategy and make everything easy to use. So. <laughs> But surely, and no one should doubt the capabilities of what these devs can do, ever. I mean, this is a testament for sure. And if you guys do find any bugs um, in the breeding or anything like that, feel free to just report it to us in a Telegram chat. Let us know about it, and we'll look immediately into it. There, there are. Um, one bug that we're aware of, which is what Eric was mentioning. But if there's anything else, just let us know and you know we can fix that for sure. I just tried to uh, clear my cache and uh, logged in and then did, that didn't work. Um, didn't work, okay. No, no. Uh, also, uh, if we are talking about bugs, I have one Shiba Doge army that did uh, that don't show in the barracks, but if I click on it, it will show. So it does show. Okay. The okay. Can you can you do me a favor? Can you DM me um, some of those NFT numbers, and and I'll oh, have sure. uh, our our guys look directly into it. I will send you a DM uh, right away. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. It is the weekend, so it'll probably be by Monday when, when I get a response to you, but just know that we'll, we'll be right on it. Oh, yeah, no rush. I know uh, you're busy. <laughs> I, I will just make a screenshot of the page and uh, yeah, the numbers. That's perfect. Anyone else, guys? You want to say anything or oh, we got a question if i've just sent mine over to you a picture and the numbers yeah. and a little picture of it will you please hold it to leo please what was that he sent it to leo yeah Kev. No, I folded it. I folded it to you. Will okay. you send it to Leo? I haven't got Leo. I don't know what his correct one is, mate. All right, mate. No problem. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. You're welcome. Were you having the were you having the same issue as Eric or something different? No, same issue. Um, it's blank with a question mark, and when you press on it, it shows the pictures there. But, um, okay, gotcha. gotcha. It, and when you try and breed, it won't show up in the breeding. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Leo. Yeah. No problem, guys. Yeah. If you are having that issue, we, we, we are aware of that. And that, that's something that we're going to send the hot fix out for. So um, I apologize in advance. No need to apologize, mate. Everything was fantastic. I've just sent you uh, the screenshot. Got it. Got it. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. So, so those two on the bottom are the ones that it's not recognizing, right? Uh, correct. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. Uh, and the one on the on the top that is not showing is uh... right. That's a bread one already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a yeah. 
Yeah, it's a front end. It's a front end thing. So it's, it should be an easy fix. We'll just send it over to our front end developers and and they should be able to fix that. Yeah, if I click on it, I can see everything. So <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> It's just nice to see everything instead of uh, one not showing. I sent you Kev's one as well. Just now. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Same thing. Same. Same. Same issue as Eric. Yeah. We'll we'll get it worked out, guys. Yeah, once it's done, if, if you can just pin it, just let everyone know. And then if anyone's got issues after that, I can then forward you yeah. any other issues. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have to send it. I'd have to send it into our, well, we've already sent it in, but I'd have to follow up with our front end people. And they don't work on the weekend. So so Monday, I'll I'll get a response back from them. Anyone else, guys? Anyone want to say anything or questions? So, not really a question, but just want to echo what Billy said and say thank you, Leo. Thank you to the, the devs and the team for what they've done. And um, take the time and enjoy the weekend for your family because we know next week is going to be a jam packed week for you guys and particularly for Shiba. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we are, we're going to have a very busy week, guys. Um, We'd, we'd, we'd appreciate you guys showing up to some of those AMAs next week for the support too. I know we're going to have a lot of them and I, I know everybody's got their own schedules and their own lives, but if you could show up at least to, to some of them and just, you know, listen in and, and send your support, that'll be awesome. Uh, but we're going to have a very, very busy week next week, guys. So Leo, only thing I ask if they can pin it at least say 24 hours that if you have to move like personally if i can move stuff around i'll be there because i know some of them probably will be during the day not just late in the afternoon yeah, yeah no problem and if you guys can't make it don't worry Every, everything will be recorded no and i mean you don't even have to listen to it because a lot of a lot of it is going to be what you guys already know a lot of it is going to be us kind of just like introducing the project to new communities and kind of um you know just the introduction thing and and um, more or less, I don't want to say shill, but it's kind of like just joint AMAs with, with different big communities. So a lot of the stuff that will be talked about is stuff that you guys are already all aware of because you're part of the community and, um, we always talk about it, but, um, this is just going to be like us just telling new people what Shiba Doge Labs is and what our ecosystem entails. Yeah, Leo, we know you're always humble. We just want to show up and support because you guys are doing the work. So not a problem, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. Hey, we'll we'll go ahead and cut it here. Um, if anyone has any other questions, I, I will be checking the chat every now and then. So feel free to tag me in there. Sunny wrote in there saying, "Can someone tell Leo he is the goat?" Thank you, Sunny. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Sunny's funny, dude uh other than that guys i hope everybody has a great weekend i hope you guys enjoy everything that uh, the weekend has to offer be safe make sure you guys tune into the shinja collab ama tomorrow it's going to be a good one and I, I do want feedback from our community too on what the proposal is um because that does matter for sure it matters it's not only what uh the shinja community thinks but we also want to know what you guys think um but yeah, we'll see you guys there. It's going to be at 3 p.m. PST. We'll go ahead and share more info on that in the pinned message soon. Um, but other than that, as always, if you miss Doge, that sucks. If you miss Shiba, that also sucks. If you miss Shiba Doge, man, can't really say much to you because you suck. <laughs> 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 all right guys i love you all i'm gonna call it here i'll see you guys soon um roof i'm gonna send you a quick dm okay after this okay Just cool look out for that cool thank you guys peace love peace